Hey there, so what is up everyone? In this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I haven't done yet in this channel. So I know we have the new iPhone XS, but I wanted to do a freeze test. So these phones are IP68 rated, which means that they are dust and water resistant. It's not waterproof, but they are water resistant. Uh, now the IP68 rating um, that they claim that they have is up to two meters underwater for 30 minutes all right but i want to test it and see how long it can actually stay underwater if it can go past those 30 minutes because in this video we're going to be doing a freeze test where i'm going to be putting the iphone 10s in water i'm going to be leaving it in there all night so that it can freeze up and then tomorrow morning uh, it's going to be in an ice cube and we're going to see if it's still going to be working or not all right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. This is a brand new iPhone XS. Let's go and unbox it first, and then we're gonna go freeze it. All right, so here we have the iPhone uh, XS. Uh, this is a brand new one. As you can see, it has all the accessories here and everything. Let's put this to the side. So here it is, it even still has the plastics on it. Let's go ahead and remove those. All right, so here we have it, iPhone XS. Um, I already put it in airplane mode. We already activated it, but this phone is completely brand new. All right, so let's go ahead and take it uh, and pour some water on it so we can freeze it. Let's go ahead and take it to the kitchen. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, we're gonna keep the uh, screen brightness like that and we're gonna leave it on airplane mode. Go ahead and check the time now so we know what time it is so right now it's 11 p.m and let's go ahead and pour some water in there right now i'm gonna go ahead and get some water in here and let's go ahead and pour that water on the iphone there you go Woo. all right so we're gonna leave the display on so I set it to never lock. So it's gonna need a couple more cups of water. This is a thirsty iPhone here. Three cups of water and it still wants more. And I think with this fourth one, it should be good. There you go, covered all the way to the top. Look at that. Dripping water. All right, so, so like I said, it's uh, now it's 11.01, 11.02 p.m. So let's go ahead and put it in the freezer. Let's open up the freezer first. And made a nice little spot here for it. All right, and it, it is a lot of water, so we'll see how this goes. Night night iPhone. It's gonna sleep in the freezer tonight. All right, so we're gonna leave it in there and we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna leave it in there all night. All right, everyone, so I left the iPhone in the freezer. It's gonna stay in there all night. Tell you the truth, I am a little bit worried that it might not make it and that I'm gonna lose a thousand dollar iPhone. It is an XS, 64 gigabytes. Uh, they're 9.99 at Apple right now. So I'm a little bit worried, but I think it'll all be worth it. This is for you guys. So enjoy the video and tomorrow morning, we're gonna check it out and see if it's still working. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video here and I'll continue recording in the morning as soon as I check it out. All right, so it is the next day. Right now it's 8.02 a.m. And we're gonna go check out the iPhone and see how it's doing in the freezer. So it's 8.02 a.m. All right, so let's check it out here. 
So there it is. And amazing, it is still on. You can see the screen on there. It's completely frozen and it is still on. I thought it was gonna be broken. It does look like, like it still has water in there, so it's not completely frozen yet. So I'm gonna stick it back in there and leave it in there for a couple more hours until it completely freezes up everything. Let's leave it in there for a couple more hours. It's 8 a.m. Let's give it a couple, like four, four or five more hours. All right, so it is about, uh, it's 11.36 a.m. the next day. So let's go ahead and check out the iPhone and see how it's doing. What do you guys think? Do you think it broke? Do you think it's still on and working normally? Let's go ahead and find out. What do you think? You think the iPhone's not working no more? Huh? Or you think it's good? Yeah. All right, so we left it a few more hours in there since uh, 8 a.m. this morning. So it's 11.37 now. Let's go ahead and check. Uh oh, so it looks like it's still on. The screen is on, it's showing something there, but I changed the screens. I'm not sure what happened there. It's pretty weird. Oh my God, look at this. It's completely frozen. It's been in the freezer now inside the frozen water since i think it was 11 p.m last night so that's 12 hours 12 hours in water in frozen water so let's go ahead and uh, pour some hot water on it so we can melt the ice away Find my iPhone on it. So this is what a frozen iPhone tennis looks like. Sliding out. It's like a we got an iPhone holder now. We can use this as a holder. I get home, pop, just put it there. <laughs> oh, the the power button's working. Even with my wet fingers, this the touch screen is still functioning. I'm gonna dry it out. I'm gonna dry it out completely. Uh, and and let's go ahead and test everything, all the functions one by one. All right, so I got this towel. Go ahead and dry it up. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, test the features uh, and make sure everything's working. All right, so the volume button definitely looks like it's working here. Uh, let's try the vibrator. Yep, the vibrator motor works as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out of airplane mode now. It's out of airplane mode. Let's see if it finds Wi-Fi signal. Yes, it is uh, reading Wi-Fi signal. So the antenna uh, definitely looks like it's good. Let's go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. And there we go. We're good. Looks like it's connected to Wi-Fi as well. Let's go ahead and try the sound. Let's do the, yeah, the microphone test is the best because it will test the microphones and the uh, speakers, both speakers at the same time. So we're just gonna hit record here. Testing, testing, we're just testing the microphone here and the speakers. So let's go ahead and play that. So this is sound coming through the ear speakers. You can see bubbles 
when I press play, you can see bubbles here forming up here at the top ear speaker. I mean, I do hear some sound. Let me place it to my ear uh, and see how it's sounding. Let me dry that off a little bit though. So let's try it again. Yeah, the ear speaker is definitely not sounding right anymore. All right, um, so you know what? We'll just go to settings here and let's go to sound. So let's uh, change the ringtone here, let's see. So the, the loudspeaker is working, but it is super low. Super low loudspeaker. So looks like both speakers were damaged uh, as they're not working properly. Um, let's go ahead and check out the camera. All right, so the camera looks like it's working fine. It looks pretty good. Let's check out the selfie camera. All right, so that's working good too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the brightness. Yep, the screen looks like it's, uh, the screen's looking good. So there's still even water coming out up here, I guess because maybe it was frozen inside the phone and it's melting. So as you can see, there's like a little bit of water here at the top. Right, let's go ahead and see if Face ID is working. So Face ID and password, let's set up Face ID. All right, so Face ID is working. So that's a good thing. All right, so one more thing I do wanna do is, let's take this freeze test to another level and let's go ahead and open the phone up and see what it looks like inside. I wanna see if water went inside, uh, you know, which it most likely did because it went in through the speakers here and down here. That's why these speakers are damaged. Uh, but I wanna see how much water went inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and power the phone off. Let's go ahead and remove the two pencil up screws at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna heat up the phone. You can do that with a hairdryer or a heat gun here on the front to loosen up this adhesive. Uh, I'm gonna heat it up just to make the adhesive easier to remove because I don't wanna damage the screen since it is still a good screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my hot plate to heat it up to continue taking it apart. All right, so I think the phone is hot enough now. Now that it's hot, it is lifting up a lot easier. And now we can just go around the edges here. We can even do it with the plastic pine tool so that we don't scratch the, the metal bezel here. Let's go around the entire side. And then we'll go down this side. There you go, it's very simple. Now we can go ahead and remove the suction cup. Wiggle the screen around just a little bit like this to loosen up the adhesive at the top and then stick the prying tool in there and gently lift it up. And we're gonna lift it up this way because the cables open up to this side. As you can see, there's one cable right here. This connects to the top ear speaker portion and front sensors, which is what got wet. And here are the cables for the screen. And there's a bunch of cables under this bracket right here. Here's the inside of the iPhone XS after being put through uh, 12 hours inside water and then frozen water so i don't see any water in here this is uh pretty amazing i don't see any water at all so it looks like water doesn't actually get inside the major components of the phone the uh, water indicator sticker right here is still white and when it gets water damage uh, when the water actually gets inside this turns red so that's a very good sign right there um so yeah it looks like uh the only places where the water must have gone in was in through this this ear speaker right here so uh this portion up here was damaged uh but the face id still works good so this part most likely will need to be replaced. And then the other section that we're having an issue is down here. Looks like water went in uh, through in here where the loud speaker is. So the loudspeaker uh, portion is actually this side right here. There should be two microphones down here, uh, but the microphones do seem to be working because it recorded uh, when I was talking into the voice recorder. Uh, so we're probably just gonna have to change this speaker right here, which is the loudspeaker. All right, so uh, yep, that's the inside of your iPhone XS after being put through a freeze test. Let's go ahead and close it up.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that freeze test video on the Apple iPhone XS. I sure did. And I'm super glad that the phone is still working. Most of it, it does have some issues, but it is still mainly functional. So that's super cool. Uh, Apple superseded my expectations. You know, they claim the IP68 rating is two meters underwater for 30 minutes. Uh, this was definitely not two meters underwater, but it stayed underwater and frozen water for about 12 hours. So I'm very impressed. Um, go ahead and please give this video a like. It really helps the video out a lot. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ciao.